Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our uh, first lesson for Research 2. I'm your teacher, Romel S. Villarubia. So, uh, our lesson is all about the nature of science and science investigations. So, if you try to remember, you have in your grade 7, you have their... Uh, Science processes and skills, process skills, or the necessary skills and attitudes towards science investigations. Now, for your grade eight, you are uh, looking ahead. You are to you are expected to come up with a science investigatory project proposal. Okay, so let's start now. So, you have here in your screen the nature of science and science investigations adapted and edited by, of course, yours truly, Romel Svillerubia. And this slide is from our uh, former teacher in research, Sir Roland P. Innes. So, uh, a while ago, I have posted this already into uh, into our LMS. Uh, what comes to your mind when you hear the word science, or when you read the, this word, no science? Okay, so anybody? As if you are uh, having face to face. So, so maybe some of you will say. Uh, it is a systematized body of knowledge based on facts and observations, experimentations. So, yeah, that is correct because that is the definition of science by uh, by the dictionary. Webster, Merriam. Oh, so, uh, science, no? Uh, further than that definition, we can say that science is both a product and a process okay. so science become a product when it becomes a body of knowledge okay so science is uh, about laws about theories about facts about concepts and of course no our uh, our what what we are using at present the technologies, inventions, gadgets, those are all uh, characteristics of science being a product. Okay? Now, again, as we, as we have said, science can be also, can also be a process. When I say a process, science can be a way of doing things or knowing or, yeah, knowing and doing things. So when, when we say it's a process that can be science is observing, recording, predicting, experimenting, reasoning, analyzing, investigating, and etc. As long as it, it involves process. No? So again, aside from the plain definition of science in, I mean, the usual definition of science that you can find in uh, in the dictionary science again can be a product and a process okay next now in learning science we must uh, I mean uh, you or we must therefore involve scientific knowledge that's for 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 science being a product and scientific thinking okay that's for the science science being a process okay so when you say uh, it involves scientific knowledge again in uh, in learning science or Later on, when you do science, you must have in-depth knowledge of the facts, principles, 
theories, laws, concepts, techniques, procedures, and safety rules about uh, science. No? So when you say facts, uh, let's say in your grade 8, uh, you have there Newton's laws of motion. Okay, so you should be knowledgeable on that. You have also in science 8, you have microbiology. So, meron kayong mga microtechnique. Ano pa? Scientific uh, procedures. Yan. Usually, as in, uh, in the future, in your research 9, when you do actual SIP already or science investigatory project, you should have uh, your, your procedures or your methodology in conducting your SIP should be grounded on uh, literature or previous procedures used by scientists, by by researchers who, who might or who is uh, may may have similar or uh, related studies on what you are pursuing, things like that, no? And of course, safety rules. That's very important in SIP or science investigatory projects. And again, doing and learning science must involve scientific thinking. When I say scientific thinking, like I, yeah, scientific thinking, it involves uh, the general skills like communication skills. General because uh, you can use this not just in science subject but all other subjects that you have. Not just in all other subjects, but in your daily life, no? Communication skills. And, of, of course, the process skills. Okay, when I say process skills, uh, say, for example, you know, inquiry-based procedures, yeah, uh, doing experimentations, investigations. So, you have this already in your uh, research one in grade seven, the process skills. If you if you remember that, just review your different process skills. Okay, so again, that is uh, learning and doing science. It should involve scientific knowledge, of course, where you base your what you are doing. It should be grounded on the concepts, on techniques, on procedures, on principles, on theories about sciences. No. You, you you cannot just do what whatever you think of you want to do no in doing science okay and of course your sci scientific thinking which involves skills and process uh, general skills past skills of course aside from your your knowledge your practice in doing and learning science also should follow the proper skills in doing experimentation investigations and uh, procedures yes okay next so uh, what other ideas regarding nature of science need to be promoted oper operationalized or contextualized in day-to-day -day classroom setting okay so in your in our case i mean in your case no as a student mm, what are the ideas on the of ideas on science or ideas regarding the nature of science that you are already using maybe practicing or uh, yeah applying in your in your being a student okay 